Hey, this is Mike with 5 Minute Guide. This video is going to take a quick look at how you can use drop down boxes or data validation in a multiple tiered type of setup. Uh, so, what we want to do is we want to have one box here that gives us the service type, and that's going to be either website or wedding. Uh, then the second box will change based on what's in the first box. Then the third drop down will change based on what is in the second drop down. So, to get started, uh, I've laid out several lists here, and these are the lists that we're going to be using. The first thing that we'll need to do is highlight our different lists and give them names. So the first list is going to be called service services. Now the way that the first list is named doesn't really matter that much, but every subsequent list after this needs to be named exactly as it appears in the previous list. When we when we choose website in the first box, we want these options to show up in the second box. So we need to name this list website exactly as it is here. Uh, the same thing going forward, this next list, these are the development options. If the second drop down has development selected, then the third drop down should have one of these two options. You'll see that the name of each list that I have listed in the top here corresponds directly to an option in a previous list. Uh, so you'll just need to make sure that you name everything accordingly. So now that we've done that, we'll highlight the cell that we want to put our first drop down box in. Go to data, validation, choose list and source equals services. That's pretty straightforward. Now we have our two service options. The next list will be the same thing. Click on data, validation, list. This time we're going to use the indirect formula equals indirect, open parentheses, and whatever is in our first list. So now it's telling it to look at what's in our first list and assess that as if it were some sort of named range to look for. So now with website selected, we should be able to get our two website options. And with wedding selected, we should get our two wedding options. Um, finally, our third list, we'll do the same thing again. Data validation list equals indirect, open parentheses, and this time our second list, close parentheses, and finish it off. So now you can see that if we change the first list, the other options change along with it. So that's it. It's pretty simple. You could continue to do this as many levels deep as you'd like. The catch is that you have to make sure you name your ranges based on an item that's in your previous list. Uh, if you wanted to get complicated, you could use if statements and that sort of thing, but it would, it would unnecessarily complicate it. Um, the other catch here is that you can't have any spaces in any of your names for your ranges. So that means your options can't have spaces. Uh, if you've got any questions, please leave me a comment. And uh, if this video has helped you out, we really appreciate likes and subscribes. Other than that, I will see you next time.